Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma. Behind me is Alex, and we are finally going back to the US to buy our camper van. One month ago, our dream of having a camper van in the US went up in flames. But having returned back to our UK camper for a break, we are now ready to head back to the US and try again. In this video, we book our flights back to the USA, address what officially happened with the fire report and how much we got for insurance, as well as soaking up our last bit of the British summer. I am back, my little beans. <laughs> how much did you miss me? I missed you. We are so excited for this video because it is finally time to book our flight back to the US. It's time. We're finally ready. We've been plucking up the courage, resetting, recalibrating, and now we're ready to go. We have really upped our camping game recently, guys. <laughs> I'm really excited to show you. We've come to probably the best campsite we've been to so far. Yeah. We found ourselves a lovely pitch. We're we're actually at the old home of William Penn, who was the founder of Pennsylvania. And hopefully someone found that interesting because I was mildly <laughs> interested by it, but I thought someone out there could be able to extract a little bit of enjoyment from that information. <laughs> this is how we've upped our camping game. After last week's fiasco, when somebody nicked my camping spot, we thought, how can we make it so it can't be nicked? Not only do we have our van, and we have brought our own car along, so we've got the freedom of setting up camp for four days, and we can just go off, and it's not a faff. Something I've really enjoyed about this is turning this little spot into a little home. So usually when we're just staying in the van, it's great, but every time we need to go to the shops or go and do something, we've got to pack everything up, put the roof back down and head off. This time though, because we have the fear, I can leave everything set up. We have a little outdoor kitchen set up here. Show them the lights that you've bought as oh, well. Oh yes. So we've got some solar fairy lights, which we've put up alongside our makeshift awning. <laughs> we haven't invested in a proper awning, but we found this tarp at a nearby camping shop and we thought it would do the job for now. This tarp, I mean, it looks cool now, but it was in a major, hassle to put up yeah and it was if, a bit of a faff <laughs> and if it was a short trip we definitely wouldn't be doing this no definitely not i think when you're popping from one spot to the next day after day it definitely would be too much hassle one of the main reasons we've got this is because al and his skin tends to burn to an absolute crisp just for reference this tan that you see is only on the arms <laughs> and this part here we are talking very moon burnt skin <laughs> He basically always is wearing a white t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we asked on previous videos where to go to buy a van because we had been looking at the north, the states in the north, because it was too hot in Texas before. And as many of you rightly told us, they salt the roads up there, so it's not a good place to look to buy an older camper van. The main place that stood out to us was Oregon, because we've never been to Oregon before. Apparently they don't salt the roads, it's a good buyer's market. So we're very interested in there. However, the even better advice was to let the van of our dreams decide the location. So what we've decided to do is we're gonna book flights to New York, which tend to be a bit cheaper than flying to other destinations from the UK. And then at least we're in the country and ready to pounce when the right camper van comes up. I personally hate booking flights. I'm not so good at finding the cheapest deals. And I just find that I end up wasting hours and hours trying to save like 30 quid on a flight. <laughs> I'm just not so good at it. So I tend to leave Alex to do the flight booking. I used to work as a travel agent. So this was my job many moons ago. I enjoy the thrill and the process of saving that 30 pounds, <laughs> even if my time isn't worth it. One thing I found him, for £329, we can fly direct from Iceland. Would you fancy going to Iceland? Is that actually a question? Of course I'd like to go to Iceland. I mean, we'll spend more money than we would have spent on the flight, Absolutely. but we would have been to Iceland, so. <laughs> but basically it's gonna cost about £1,000 to fly directly, or we could use that £700 saved and then have a trip in Iceland as well. Well, I mean, I'm game. Should we sleep on it? We always get flustered every time we think flights is gonna be an easy thing to book. I think it's best to procrastinate for tonight. <laughs> 
Having the freedom of the car and camping near where I grew up meant that we were able to easily pop over to my dad's to have a family dinner before returning to the van for an early night. After an evening off with family and then sleeping on it, we have made our decision. Finally. <laughs> We're going with our original decision. Yep. We're gonna fly to New York. We found a flight and we're just about to book it. What is ridiculous about flights? It is cheaper to get a return to New York than it is to fly one way. It just doesn't make sense to me. As long as this goes through, we will be flying to New York in two weeks time. I press pay and now we're on. The spinning wheel, wheel of doom. Doom. <laughs> doom. I was gonna say de death and death then you said doom. 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 Doomy death. <laughs> Payment successful. Emails coming through. We're going back to New York, baby! Woo! We do have a bit of a philosophy on this channel of live the good old days and I feel like every time we're out and about in this van I very much feel like I'm living the good old days. I enjoy these sort of dead days just as much as our crazy travels mm. and even though we don't always show it on camera outside of the crazy travel series this is kind of how we we enjoy our time off and we just don't usually film yeah. these kind of relaxed times to be honest my idea of a perfect holiday is to just be sat in a spot <laughs> with the van not doing very much that sounds lovely <laughs> Out. <laughs> it's almost like there's no such thing as like an idyllic perfect moment. There's always something going Look on. Look how far away. It's like a good, what, two meters away from the van. The wind was going that way the entire time. Now it's blown towards the van. There's definitely a meme about is... wherever you sit in the fire, it's, the smoke's going to go in your face. That's definitely what it seems like today. It's like the wind can't decide which direction it wants to go in. <laughs> we can just this move. This is nice. <laughs> I forgot we could just move. <laughs> no. We have used our projector before and we absolutely love it in the camper van but we have never connected a console. So we've got a Nintendo Switch and we are hoping to play Mario Kart on the side of the van. And I don't think anyone has ever done anything that cool in the camping scene, ever. <laughs> are we just massive nerds? Tell me anything that anyone has ever done cooler than this. Anything. <laughs> and don't tell me walking on the moon, <laughs> anything like that. Playing Mario Kart on the side of a camper van. You're living your 10 year old you's dream. Oh my god, it's actually happening. <laughs> we are like mega millennials right now. <laughs> <laughs> Still racing? <laughs> you are the worst winner ever. <laughs> We are proud to be working again with Jackery to promote their summer campaign of cost-friendly Enjoy the Solar Way. Jackery's continued support of our channel means that we can continue to create new content each week. Over the past year, we have been using the Jackery Solar Generator 1000, which includes the Jackery power station as well as the two solar panels to help charge it. A solar generator takes energy from the sun, it then goes through these solar panels and makes it to usable energy, which then gets stored inside this for a later date. Basically, it means that you get free power, it's extremely cost effective, and it means that we don't actually have to spend a lot of money on expensive campsites with hookups, and instead we can come to these nice nature spots with the bare necessities. 
Are you soaking up the sun's rays, just like our solar panels? I'm burning my eyes! <laughs> <laughs> we also love solar because it means that we have free green energy to use even when we're not moving and we're staying put for a few days. We would also like to announce that Jackery are offering up to 30% off for Jackery Prime Day on their official Amazon store as well as a sale on their website. We will leave a link down in the description below. Thanks to everyone for entering the giveaway last week and a huge congratulations to the winner. We have reached out to you via email and I hope you enjoy your Jackery just as much as we do. And if you didn't win, don't give your hopes up just yet. Jackery are hosting another giveaway over on their YouTube channel. We will leave a link down in the description below for that. Best of luck. Something that Al and I really want to get for our camper van in the States is either a stand-up paddleboard or a kayak. So today we've decided to go and test this out, whether or not we'd be able to handle it. And we've borrowed our friend's inflatable stand-up paddleboard. It looks like everyone else has got exactly the same idea as us. <laughs> oh, uh, whoa. This is extremely busy. Oh, no. Um, ah. Oh, you can see loads of people. <laughs> over there inflating theirs so when you google where to do stand-up paddleboarding everyone else is doing the same google <laughs> <laughs> so much for an original idea <laughs> the first thing is that the size of these things is big and awkward bigger than i thought they'd be we want something big enough to fit both of us in oh, i think my personal preference would be a kayak because i really like kayaks but i think these can turn into kayaks Quite cool. Wow, that looks legit. Right, let's do this. That literally took me what, like two minutes? It's just because I'm so strong. I think yeah. it takes like a normal, average strength person, probably about 15, 20, but <laughs> someone like me. <laughs> yeah. My back is in so much pain. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's about three minutes worth of labor. <laughs> how does it feel? Like really sturdy. The next is uh, how heavy it is. Do I try and pick it up? I am really strong. Like your average person, maybe <laughs> you need like two to three people, but. So you're just no. stealing jokes um, now, are you? <laughs> this often in our travels but we've gone like a hundred meters further than where everyone is and there isn't a single person on the river we must have crossed about 50 people up until this point and now no one we have it all to ourselves it's so peaceful and lovely and al would this not be prime kingfisher spotting location I was just about to say <laughs> that um now that we've got away from the people there's going to be a slight chance that we could see a kingfisher said to me <laughs> said that if we find a little nice pullover spot why can't we just stop and I'll eat my egg <laughs> I mean the context is that we have an egg with us it would make sense if we didn't have an egg it's so random it's the only food we have with us though <laughs> why is it so funny you bought it yourself <laughs> On mission egg. <laughs> you don't find a nice spot to sit. I just found one. I'm just reversing in. <laughs> How is it? But <laughs> did you shove the whole thing in your mouth? <laughs> That was absolutely 
10 out of 10. I, I'm pretty sure I can speak for both of us when I say we 100% want to get one of these or an inflatable kayak. Incredible. For our future van in the US. Like imagine doing that, but like through some of the national parks in the US. The only thing that will detract from this experience is how bad it is to take down and maybe famous last words but no matter how bad it is it cannot outweigh the experience of how good that was. Yeah that was incredible so so much fun. We got it in one. I know, like that was actually easier than I expected it to be. I think if it was just me on my own, that would be a pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> but having two people to be able to push all the air out actually made fairly quick work of it. I think the whole thing was about, what, three minutes to set up and then about five to seven to put away. Yeah. And then to have a 10 out of 10 experience, like, there is no way I'm not buying something like this. Yeah, it's great. And especially if we're gonna get a, a slightly bigger van than our pop top so that we can actually store this somewhere because we wouldn't be able to store this in the van that we no, have here in the No, we'd have to take that out for individual yeah. trips. Or hook it onto the side or something. So yeah, this is 100% something that I want for a USA van. We have come back to the lovely treat of a completely empty campsite. And I just want to show you something I really love about this campsite in particular. It's just the size of the pitches. They've mowed the spot where it's your pitch and then they've let the grass grow. And it kind of gives this very segregated feel between each pitch. So even when it was full the other day, it didn't feel busy at all because we felt tucked away and you couldn't really see anyone. But now we've got it to ourselves, it's even more heavenly. I know this is very childish, but I'm pretty sure you're not watching us for our maturity. Now that we have a completely empty campsite, I get to use the bathroom with the door open, which is a lovely treat because it's very small and very dark in there. But now I can sit and, okay, but the view isn't that good. <laughs> but in my mind, I get to sit and look at the view. If I look through the little crevice over here, and it's kind of a view. Before we leave our campsite, there's a number of questions that you guys have been asking about the fire that we'd just like to clear up right now. Yeah, we've only really got this information ourselves in the past week or so, so we are sharing this with you real time. So first, actually what happened? We recently got the fire report through the insurance and the it's answer is... It's the most is, frustrating answer ever, isn't it? It's undetermined. Undetermined cause we of fire. We have no idea. The most common theory is something to do with the fuel line. I definitely don't know enough to know, but that makes sense. Yeah. So that leads on to the money. We have now been told how much we're getting from the insurance and it is $4,700 for the body and then an extra thousand sort of for the insides. <laughs> now this is not ideal because a lot of you know we spent seven and a half thousand on the vehicle itself and that's before we even put any money into it at uh, the garage. So all in all we spent about 10 grand on it. We were hoping to get at least a seven and a half k back. Unfortunately there was some kind of issue with the VIN number being registered to a van but not a camper van and therefore we only got the money for the van's worth rather than the camper van's worth which is a tad frustrating but these things happen I guess. Thanks to all of you beautiful lovely people out oh. there uh, taking all the stress away from us in regards to the financial side of this. Gives me butterflies. Through the GoFundMe and through the patrons all this money will be going on to the van along with the insurance so we are going to be this time be able to spend at least twenty thousand dollars on our van which compared to last time seven and a half thousand is just 
I mean, it gives me goosebumps thinking about it. Thank you so, so much. We know we can shop in a different realm now. Yeah, and hopefully we're going to be able to sleep much easier knowing that we can afford to have a better van, basically. One that hopefully isn't going to burst into flames as we're driving <laughs> down the road. <laughs> A wholehearted thank you so, so much for everyone that donated we and everyone that supported thank, us. We can never thank you enough, I don't think. Words will never be able to portray how much gratitude we have for all of you guys, so thank you. The only way we, I feel we can repay you is by going back and Doing buying it. a van and doing the trip that you yeah. guys want us to do, so that's what we're going to do. that is it for today's video we will be doing a couple of more videos in this van before we head over to the us so if you would like to see those videos hit that subscribe button make sure you like the video and there's nothing left to say thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time and beans out <laughs> <laughs>